welcome 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 my beautiful people how are you doing today are you good are you really really good i hope you're good i, I know it's been a minute i am back god has sent me here today to deliver a message to you from him because guess what you are loved by the most high god welcome back welcome back if you're new to this podcast i would like you to i would like to welcome you you are welcome i'm sending you so much love right now i'm sending you so much hugs right now um may the holy spirit um comfort you and i pray that uh, may god open your spiritual ears to hear uh the message that uh, he has for you today okay now let's dive right into today's um episode. for those who don't know i am uh, topic abilagati hashtag in the another brand and i'm uh the host of this uh podcast that god has blessed me with to disciple his people um i'm just a vessel of god and i hope you uh, receive i hope you receive uh, today's message from god okay um okay let's dive right into it so today we are talking about return to your first love return to your first love now you might be asking who is your first love you might think you know who's your first love but you let me know after this episode let me know after that see the the person that you think you know is your first love in your mind right now after this episode let me know if it's still the same person okay because right now what god is doing god is setting a record straight you know so that our blessings won't be hindered our journeys won't be hindered our families won't be hindered you know for us to um to be in a peaceful place with God, to be in a peaceful place with our blessings, to walk in this journey um, with God and really be comfortable in our purpose. We need to get everything straight. Like God needs to give us the full understanding of everything that he has uh, assigned us to do, you know, here on earth. So uh today we're reading the book of the message of today is found in the book of revelation revelation chapter 2 uh from verse 2 through 5 it reads i know what you have done i know how hard you have worked and how patient you have been i know that you cannot tolerate evil people and that you have tested those who say they are apostles but are not and have found out that they are liars you are patient you have suffered for for my sake and you you have not given up but this is what i have against you you do not love me now as you did at first think how far you have fallen turn from your sins and do what you did at first if you don't turn from your sins i will come to you and take your lampstand from its rightful place he will come and take your lampstand from its place now who is your first love your spouse is not your first love your children are not your first love your parents are not your first love the job you have is not your first love the career that you have your blessings the gift that you have your potential is not your first love your first love is god your first love is god see we came from god before he formed us in our mother's womb we came from him and to him we shall return so now in verse 2 god speaks about god said that he knows what we have done god knows what you have done god knows how how hard you have worked in your journey in your purpose god knows how patient that you have been in this journey it's been a long journey for you it's been a long journey god hasn't forgotten about that he knows he knows how patient you are but you know sometimes we can focus so much on our purpose focus on so much on so much on 
on the things that God has given us and then we, we tend to overlook God. And I must say, we tend to overlook God unknowingly. Okay? Unknowingly. So verse 2, it really states that, you know what, I understand. You have been busy. You have been working. But you don't love me like you used to. You know. Um, this is how I want you to test if really God is your first love. Is God the first person you say good morning to when you wake up in the morning? How many times do you tell God, God, I love you? How many times? Or you tell your spouse, I love you more than you tell God? You tell your children, you love them more than you love God? I want you to really have this in mind whenever you tell your spouse, I love you. Whenever you tell your children, I love you. Whenever you tell your parents, I love you. You know, even your guiding parents, I love you. I want you to think about how many times have you told God you love him? How many times? Do you know that is a sin? Do you know that is a sin? For us to move away from the love of God is a sin. And therefore, that exposes us to a lot of demonic forces you know it exposes us into things we wish we were not exposed to because that's how dangerous it is to move away from the love of god the enemy will try so hard to make you pay more attention into material things than you should be paying attention to god god wants us to return to him God wants you to return to him. He is your first love. Return to your first love. And everything else is going to fall into place. You might be asking yourself, why am I going through such hardship? Why am I so stressed? Why am I so frustrated? It's because you moved away from your first love. How do you feel when your children come to embrace you? Say, mommy, I love you so much. Daddy, I love you so much. You're the best parent ever in the world. How do you feel? Feels great, right? How much more God? How much more God? The one that created you and me. The one that knitted me and you in our mother's womb. He says he knew us before he, he knitted us in our mother's womb. That's our first love. So whenever we pulled away, when, whenever the enemy pulls us away from our first love, we get exposed to a lot of things. Anxiety, stress, depression. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot, you know. But when you return to your first love, there's no more anxiety in the presence of God. His love showers you with so much grace that automatically you come out feeling great again you know because when you we moved away when the enemy tries to detach us away from our first love it's, it's like trying to 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 detach a baby from a woman's womb by force that's not good for the baby it's not good for the baby you know while it's not time yet to give birth it's not good for the baby so the baby get exposed to a lot of things that you know it was not meant to be exposed to so same applies with us god is calling us a call a call to respond to a call from god is not an easy journey but it's worth it how can you walk in your purpose away from your first love, which is God? How are you going to even... Listen, one thing about me, I don't want to do all of this without God. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I don't want to do all of this without God. He is the one that has assigned me to do this. So therefore, I don't want, I, I don't want to do anything that doesn't have him in it what am i even doing you know 
I'm not about the love where I need to pretend to be someone I'm not. I'm not. God didn't teach me that. You know, so I am walking into his footsteps as my father. The things that he teaches me to come and pour into his people. You know, that's what I'm all about. So where can I go without my first love, God? You know, my spouse will follow after that. You know, really bonding with God and giving, give, give time, give, give God time. Just spend time with God. Have a meditation hour or 30 minutes, you know, two times a day. Where you really just spending time with God and just to hear what he has to say to you. He's waiting for you. You know, there's a lot of information that is waiting for you. There's a lot of you. You have no idea. The enemy tries to pull you away. Now, these are the things that God has told me. You know, one of the tricks that the enemy tries to um, flood his people, you know, in their minds with, you know, they get so busy. Like, you know, when you get like really busy, like chaotic busyness, that's the, that's the business I'm talking about right now, chaotic business. And then, and then you start to fall into depression, you get overwhelmed with work, you know, you need to just calm down. Understand that you cannot do everything same time. Yes, you can wear all the hats, but not in one day. You know, spending time with God really helps you do that. It really helps you to to it helps you take those decisions where you're thinking, no, you know what? Let me just let me just calm down. Let me just relax. Okay, God, what do you think? Should I try to do all the things today, or should I just you know reschedule two things so that I can have time with you? The more time we spend with God, the better for us. That's why it's so easy to watch a Netflix series for the whole day, but it's hard to read the Bible. Because the enemy knows when you open your Bible, you're becoming more dangerous to him. Have you ever wondered why every time, not really every time, Especially when you're being attacked in a spiritual realm, you open your Bible within two minutes. You won't know what hit you, but you wake up from a deep sleep. You didn't even see yourself falling asleep. That's how that's how hectic it is. So a call is not easy. But how can we be able to walk in this journey? How can we, you know, being close to your first love, God gives you great ideas, small business ideas. You know, you might have been doing this one thing for such a long time. You're like, God, God, I've been trying and God is like, I have more ideas for you, but you're not spending time with me. You're not spending enough time with me. So God says, return to your first love. So you might be asking, how do I return to my first love? First, you have to repent. Because now the enemy has been trying to remove you from the presence of God. Because the minute the enemy removes you from the presence of God, you are an easy prey. You know, when you are too busy, uh, frustrated, stressed, um, you know, overflowing, everything is just overwhelming. Your work is overwhelming, Client, your clients are overwhelming you, kids are overwhelming you like basically everything is overwhelming you you won't have time for god by the end of the day the only thing you do is say thank you lord lord i love you and you sleep how would you hear the voice of god god is calling you today how would you hear his voice and you need to repent from being pulled away from the love of god unknowingly like you, you feel what you know. I need, I need more time with God, but you don't make time. Set an alarm if you have to. You have to, you know. You need to be really, really prove that God, I really need you. I miss you. Now, if we look at verse three, uh, he says, "I know uh, you have suffered for my sake." He knows you have you have suffered for his for his sake. He knows that you have fought a good fight. He knows all of that. You know, he's not dismissing that. He knows you hate evil. 
he knows that you've been working hard he knows you've been standing in this journey you've been walking uh this journey and you, you you've been even in your career you've been putting extra work because you you have a vision you have a vision god is not dismissing all of that but he says you you don't love me like how you used to when love did you say lord i love you lord you're good you're alpha and omega you're jehovah jireh you're jehovah Nisi. i love you god i just want to tell you i love you i just want to worship you receive my worship god receive the your worship the worship of your humble servants i know i'm not worthy god but i come to you right now and humble myself i repent i'm sorry god i'll never do it again god help me whenever the enemy try to pull me away from your presence of god whenever the enemy is trying to pull me away from your love of god may the holy spirit yank me back to your presence when last we always come to god asking for something of course he wants to do things for us you know god the word of god says um god is happy when his servants are being successful in what they're doing okay so when you're successful in what you're doing god is that that pleases god that's another form of worship you know in everything that god has blessed us with our gifts how to make money all of those things whenever those things are successful it really pleases god because i mean that is also worshiping god on its own you know but when last did you just come to god and said lord i just want to tell you i love you i just want to say i worship you god you are good you have been good to me god when last you know there'll always be problems right there'll always be challenges you know and god wants to give you wisdom on how to overcome those challenges but you can only get that when you spend time with god when you read your word okay so um i want you to make a prayer after listening to this episode where you really pray say lord forgive me forgive me lord I'll just go on fasting you know for one day where you just say you're just seeking the presence of god you seeking his face and say lord i just want to return to you you are my first love god is calling you to return to him he is your first love he is your first love if you're coming across this clip right now know that it's not a mistake this message is for you God says return back to him. There's more wisdom that is waiting for you. There's more information that is waiting for you in his presence. But God says return to your first love and your first love is God. The rest will follow. Maybe you feel like everything is a mess in your life. Your businesses are just uh, acting weird. Your finances are acting weird. You know, everything is just acting weird. Your family is acting weird. Like... It's not going the way they're supposed to be going, you know? But how is stressing helping you with that? It's not helping you at all. So God says, return to him. Return to your first love. You get the answers you need. There's more information that is waiting for you. You get the answer that you need. You get the fulfillment that you need and deserve. And then everything else is going to fall into its rightful places, in, into its right places. Okay. That's how whenever you return to the love of God, that blend, you know, it makes everything else fall into place. Because you're returning to the one you came from. So surely that must speak something to you surely that must say something to you the problems that you're facing or the challenges that you're facing right so return to your first love return to your first love listen um thank you so much for listening to this episode be blessed